SpaceX CRS-7, also known as SPX-7, was a private American rocket commercial resupply service mission to the International Space Station, contracted to NASA, which launched and failed on June 28, 2015. It disintegrated 139 seconds into the flight after launch from Cape Canaveral, just before the first stage was to separate from the second stage. It was the ninth flight for SpaceX's uncrewed Dragon cargo spacecraft and the seventh SpaceX operational mission contracted to NASA under a commercial resupply services contract. The vehicle launched on a Falcon 9V 1.1 launch vehicle. It was the 19th overall flight for the Falcon 9 and the 14th flight for the substantially upgraded Falcon 9V 1.1. Launch history In January 2015, the launch was tentatively scheduled by NASA for no earlier than June 13, 2015. This was adjusted to June 22, 2015, then moved forward to June 19, 2015 and adjusted again to June 26, 2015. Subsequently, the launch had been rescheduled to June 28, 2015 at 14 hours 21 minutes and 11 seconds Coordinated Universal Time, from Cape Canaveral LC-40. The launch was scheduled to be the third controlled descent and landing test for the Falcon 9's first stage. It would have attempted to land on a new autonomous drone ship named Of Course I Still Love You, named after a ship in the novel The Player of Games by Ian M. Banks. The spacecraft was planned to stay in orbit for five weeks before returning to Earth with approximately 1,400 pounds kilograms of supplies and waste. <laughs> <laughs> Launch failure Performance was nominal until 139 seconds into launch when a cloud of white vapor appeared, followed by a rapid loss of pressure in the liquid oxygen tank of the Falcon 9's second stage. The booster continued on its trajectory until the vehicle completely broke up several seconds later. The Dragon CRS-7 capsule was ejected from the exploding launch vehicle and continued transmitting data until it impacted with the ocean. SpaceX officials stated that it could have been recovered if the parachutes had deployed, but the software in the capsule did not include any provisions for parachute deployment in this situation. It is assumed that the capsule crumpled and broke up on impact. Subsequent investigation traced the accident to the failure of a strut which secured a high-pressure helium bottle inside the second stage's liquid oxygen tank. With the helium pressurization system integrity breached, excess helium quickly flooded the liquid oxygen tank, causing it to overpressurize and burst. An independent investigation by NASA concluded that the most probable cause of the strut failure was a design error. Instead of using a stainless steel eye bolt made of aerospace grade material, SpaceX chose an industrial grade material without adequate screening and testing, and overlooked the recommended safety margin. Topic. Payload Topic. Primary payload NASA contracted for the CRS-7 mission from SpaceX and therefore determined the primary payload, date, time of launch, and orbital parameters for the Dragon space capsule. As of July 2013, the first international docking adapter, IDA-1, was scheduled to be delivered to the International Space Station on CRS-7. This adapter would have been attached to one of the existing pressurized mating adapters specifically, PMA-2 or PMA-3 and convert the existing APAS-95 docking interface to the new NASA docking system NDS. The new adapter is intended to facilitate future docking of new U.S. human transport spacecraft. Previous United States cargo missions since the retirement of the Space Shuttle have been berthed, rather than docked, while docking is considered the safer and preferred method for spacecraft carrying humans. Topic detailed payload manifest A full listing of the cargo aboard the failed mission included the following items, crew supplies, 690 kilograms 1,520 pounds 92 food bulk overwrap bags, two bonus food kits, two fresh food kit. 
including custom astronaut food cooked by British chef Heston Blumenthal for British astronaut Tim Peake crew provisions, crew care, operations data file utilization, 573 kilograms 1,263 pounds Canadian Space Agency, vascular echo exercise band European Space Agency, circadian rhythms, cubic e-boxes, interface plate, EPO peak, biolab, spheroids, EMC SRBLSS, Airway Mon, LIOH Cartridge Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, Atomization, Biological Rhythms, Multi Omics, Cell Mechanosensing 3, Plant Gravity Sensing 3, Cybo L and M, Space Pup, Stem Cells, MSPR LM, Group Combustion Camera US, 2 Polars, 6 DCBs and Ice Bricks, 1 Merlin, FCF, HRF Resupply, HRP Resupply Kits, MCT, Microbiome, Twin Studies, IMAX Camera, Meteor, Micro 9, MSG Resupply, Nanorax Modules and 0.5 NRCSD No. 7, Universal Battery Charger, VEG03, Microbial Observatory 1, Microchannel Diffusion Experiment, Wet Lab RNA Smart Cycler, SCK, Story Time, Melfi TDR Batteries Computer Resources, 36 kg, 79 pounds, Projector Screen, Sidekick, October Laptop and Power Supply, 32 GB Micro SD cards, generic USB cables, power modules and card readers, preloaded T61P hard drives, CD stowage container, network attached storage devices, XF305 camcorders, minus 422 rupees adapter cables vehicle hardware, 462 kilograms, 1019 pounds, CHEC SCMS, Herm watches, bench lock studs, Glenn harness for Kelly, Copra and Peak CHEC SEHS, CO2 monitoring assemblies, filter assemblies, CSACP, CDM battery assemblies, SIECE cartridge assemblies, water kit, Petri dish packets CHEC SHMS, IMAKs, oral med packs CNT, C2V2 communications unit, and HTV5 unit data converter ECLSS, three pretreat tanks, filter inserts, nine KTOs, UPA FCPA, CDRs ASV, IMAKs, V valve, ring collector, water sampling kits, OGSACTEX filter, ARFTA brine filter assemblies, O2, N2 pressure sensor, Norse O2 tank, asterisk asterisk 3 PBA assemblies, 2 megafarads beds, 2 urine receptacles, toilet paper packages, H2 sensor, ammonia cartridge bag, PTUXFER hose EPS, 2 avionics restart cables Makita drill, PWD filter, N3 bulkhead connector, Adapters, yellow, red adapters, IWIS plates, 6.0 and 4.0 waste XFER bags, beam ground straps, gem stowage wire kit EVA hardware, 167 kg, 368 pounds, CIMU, REBA, EMU ion filters, 4, equipment tethers, gas grap, EMU mirrors, crew lock bags, CIMU arms, legs Lindgren, YUIECOKs and CCAs, Lindgren LCVG Kelly LCVG, Padalka EMU gloves Russian cargo Russian segment torque wrench unpressurized cargo 526 kilograms 1160 pounds international docking adapter number no. 1 the mission would have transported more than 4000 pounds 1800 kilograms of supplies and experiments to the international space station including the meteor composition determination investigation which would have observed meteors entering the earth's atmosphere by taking high resolution photos and videos the Center for the Advancement of Science in Space had arranged for it to carry more than 30 student research projects to the station including experiments dealing with pollination in microgravity as well as an experiment to evaluate a sunlight-blocking form of plastic. CRS-7 would have brought a pair of modified Microsoft HoloLenses to the International Space Station as part of Project Sidekick. Planned post-launch flight test After the second stage separation, SpaceX planned to conduct a flight test and attempt to return the Falcon 9's nearly empty first stage through the atmosphere and land it on a 90 by 50 meter 300 feet times 160 feet floating platform barge. 
SpaceX calls the barge an Autonomous Spaceport Drone Ship ASDS, and this particular mission's ASDS was named of course I Still Love You. This would have been SpaceX's third attempt to land the booster on a floating platform after earlier tests in January 2015 and April 2015 were not successful. The boosters were fitted with a variety of technologies to facilitate the flight test, including grid fins and landing legs to facilitate the post-mission test. See also 2015 in spaceflight List of Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy launches Cygnus CRS Orb 3 Progress M27M